Joining us now to review some of the headlines of today's newspapers from around the world is Arise News Analyst Emmanuel Efene. Great Malabite, good, good morning. Good morning, Ruben. Good morning, Rufai. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Tundu. Good morning. Tundu and Rufai are smiling. Yes. Let's start the, let's start the newspaper review with, today, with this day, Nigeria's newspaper of records. Yes, yesterday they were not smiling when they were leaving the set. <laughs> now, the lead story, Buhari's medical trip reinforces need to equip nation's hospital, says Professor Tomori. Yes, federal government budgets $2.25 trillion for health in six years. Now, the trip by President Muhammad Buhari yesterday to the UK for World Presidency, a uh, spokesperson called Routine Medical uh, checks is raising this, uh, bringing this matter to the fore once again. The need to equip Nigerian hospitals. We have the manpower. Many of the doctors doing great things outside this country in the US, Europe, and in Saudi Arabia and Nigerians. But they, are, can, they cannot perform those feats at home. Renumeration of doctors. Doctors are going on strike from tomorrow. These matters, of course, in the face of the present trip, is now born, they are now burning issues. Now, according to the report, in six years, Nigeria budgeted 2.25 trillion for health, a far cry from the World Health Organization recommendation of 5.6. 56.7 trillion naira, which we ought to have budgeted over this period. But again, it is what it is. If the president uh, returns, perhaps he will hear more on this. While the Guardian newspaper, Nigeria's Guardian newspaper, is reporting that Nigeria loses over 50. Over 576 billion yearly to medical tourism. Doctors divided over Buhari's London medical trip. President started his UK trip long before 2015. That's Garba Shewu defending uh, the president. National Association of Resident Doctors decries areas of unpaid areas of unpaid salaries. Now, President Buhari did not go for medical check in 2018, 2019, and 2020. So he did not contribute to these expenses on medical tourism by Nigerians who can afford it, private citizens, and government officials who are well placed to take advantage of their position to get Medicare outside the shores of Nigeria. Now we look at other stories, security always in the front pages. Vanguard newspaper. After, March, after meeting service chiefs, track take out sponsors of kidnappers bandits. Buhari, of course, President Buhari had that uh, meeting just before he, he traveled to the UK with the security chiefs for the obtained time, giving them matching order. Now, below the photograph on that story, massacre in a boy. Priests, 17 others killed by headsmen. Now, if you read this story on the front page of the Daily Trust, it becomes more interesting. Daily Trust newspaper. Gunmen killed 31 as Buhari task service chief to be proactive. 27 murdered in a boy reprisal. So, the newspaper is calling it a reprisal attack. That, but if you read the story, and I think we should read it for clarity, yes, also on Monday night, 27 persons were reportedly killed when gunmen suspected to be headers attacked the people in Nkalaha, Obego, Amaezu, and Umwahali communities in Ishelu local government area of Ebony State. 
Governor David Umay and some local government officials described the attacks as a reprisal. The governor had admitted that two Fulani headsmen were killed by locals about a year ago. That is the Daily Trust saying that killing is a reprisal attack. The killings in a boy, reprisal attack. I thought we should just look at that properly for clarity and something that happened two years ago. The two persons who killed two Fulani men have been apprehended since, and I think they were facing the law when this um, when this uh, happened. Now, let's look at other stories. The Nation newspaper, of course, the lead story on the presidency, presidency finding on findings on Boko Haram sponsors, shocking money being transferred to terrorists from United Arab Emirates, many under arrest. But above the mass head, we must take the story. Tinubu, I meant hiring 50,000, not 50 million into security agencies. Well, thank goodness, the media did not quote him, misquote him. Rather, he made an error, according to the report, according to his media handlers, that instead of 50,000, he mentioned 50 million. The gap between 50,000 and 50 million is so much that we were all alarmed yesterday. Well, the zeros between 50,000 and 50 million is also many. So how that kind of error was made by the man who is also aspiring to lead this country, well, I'm sure Nigerians will be taking notes. But let's move on to other stories. The, the Nigerian Tribune, APC membership registration earns, fresh controversy begins. And of course, the new Telegraph newspaper, Nigeria loses 17 billion Naira stolen assets to UK, UAE. According to the report, 13 security chiefs, others, laundered $400 million, according to this report carried out by this human rights group. Well, we'll move over to the foreign newspapers quickly. The Times of UK, diverse UK hailed over narrowing of race gap. And the independent newspaper also of UK has the same report. No proof of institutional racism claims key report. Of course, the government highly anticipated report, which was set up in the wake of Black Lives Matter. That report will be released today, and it states clearly that UK is not a institutional, is an institutionally racial country. But, of course, officials find overt discrimination persists in the UK. And, of course, according to the, the review, UK has become a more open society where children from ethnic communities uh, perform as well or substantially better than white pupils in compulsory education. Well, that is the report from the UK. Now, the Telegraph, the Daily Telegraph newspaper of the UK, Mikhail and Macron turn to Putin for vaccine. Yes, given their own, um, given the German experience about blood clot in the use of as the AstraZeneca vaccine, well, they are looking east, and Michel, uh, Angela Merkel and Emmanuel Macron of France, they have turned to Putin, and they are in talks with the Russian leader for the supply of Sputnik, of the Sputnik jab, Ruben Rufai. Because the EU to, failed them. That's why they are turning to Russia, because the EU failed them. I think Ursula von der Leyen and her team at the EU should really be ashamed of themselves, how they botched this process, how they didn't apply for this vaccine in advance. Now, when it's rush time, they're putting all the pressure on AstraZeneca, saying it's AstraZeneca's fault. But it's not only quantity. They're talking of the concerns from those who have taken the jab. The also. concerns from those who are taking the jab. There were other people providing the jabs. There were other people working on it. Moderna was working on it. Uh, there was uh, AstraZeneca, like we said, there was Pfizer working on it. There was Johnson & Johnson. 
How many orders did the EU make in advance? What did they put forward in advance? You know, this, the way the EU has botched this vaccine campaign really sort of makes a part of me support the UK for getting out of Brexit, because, uh, for getting out of the EU, for Brexit. Because once they got out of Brexit, they could harmonize their vaccination properly and see the results they're getting. Other parts is not the same, but it's not new. Let me even shock you. People like Viktor Orban in Hungary, they've gone to China. Viktor Orban has started getting Sinovac vaccine in China to inoculate his people in Hungary. So they're not even waiting for the EU again because the EU has screwed everything up. So I don't blame Angela Merkel and I don't blame, you know, Emmanuel Macron because they have to get their people vaccinated. But the fact that EU was making effort does not stop individual countries from also making their own no, efforts. No, but the EU will still come out and say you make a joint effort. That's, you see, the EU is just like a country on its own. But the countries have countries also not lost. lost their sovereignty. But the truth is... The Why EU, did they not make their individual arrangements? We want to, uh, you know, make all the laws. This was the exact thing Nigel Farage was fighting for. So your own local parliament is just like a, it's just like a joke sometimes. This is what Nigel Farage was no, saying I don't, in his I don't campaign. agree with you. I don't but it's agree true. With you That's what happens. This. Take for Countries instance, should be able to make their own I'll give you an instance. Efforts. I'll give you an instance, Mr. Feni. The EU competition chief, Maria Vestager, gets to slam companies over the national interests of some countries in the EU. That woman, Vestager, so powerful. That's what the EU has become. It's a behemoth. Well, if any. That's why all yes, of them are really angry. Things. The first uh, issue of concern that many Nigerians have been talking about, President Buhari's uh, medical trip uh, to the UK. Now, if you look at, uh, we've looked at the uh, fact about the weakness of infrastructure. Uh, the fact that uh, we have a state house clinic, which was once uh, severely criticized uh, by the president's wife and his daughter, that look, if uh, it is routine medical checkup, why is it so difficult for the health facilities, the national hospital, the state house clinic? Uh, why is it difficult for those two uh, facilities to be able to do routine medical checkup for the president? But however, as an individual, he could make his choice. Um, Garuba Sheo has also told us that this is not an emergency, uh, that this is just a routine medical checkup visit to uh, London. And as I said, stated earlier, he made it clear that he has his own doctors who know his medical record. And of course, we expect that uh, the president should always be in uh, good health. That's our expectation. But there was a question that was posed to uh, Garou Bashir about who we act in the absence of the president uh, for two weeks, as he pointed out. And he said, well, the president will, be act will still remain the president from, uh, uh, from London uh, because the president is uh, internet savvy. So, in other words, for the next two weeks, what we're going to face is governance by remote control, by the internet. And many Nigerians have legitimately raised the concern about this. Although Garbashi also has an explanation for that. He says within the purview of the Constitution, I think Section 145 or so, uh, that the, uh, uh, the president is only required to transmit to the National Assembly uh, his absence if it will be more than... 21 days. But this is the same old argument. So if the president is not around and there are documents to be signed and there are things to be done, uh, who would uh, act in his absence? Who will take charge of government? Because within the contemplation of the Constitution, uh, the Constitution does not expect that there will be a vacuum at any particular time. The business of governance uh, should go on. The Constitution recognizes that the vice president is an associate of the president. However, in, uh, in one very controversial uh, uh, case, uh, I think it was uh, AG Federation versus Abu Bakr uh, by Akiton J, uh, JLC, as it then was. You know, that controversy came up that, okay, the, uh, the, uh, uh, his lordship said that, look, the pre what is required of the vice president, it should all be completely loyal to the president, and he cannot question the decision of the president. Within the purview of Section 5 or Section 1 of the Constitution, which vests executive powers only in the president. Now, what all, all, all of this adds up to is that at some point, we may need to return to that same old argument about what exactly is the role of the vice president, what exactly is the role of deputy governors. Are they just supposed to be there, you know, for decorative uh, uh, purposes, as appendages, or what is that famous phrase, as pair tires? So, but the bigger issue that has been raised were PDP and others is about the need to develop a 
you know, health infrastructure so that our leaders do not need to go to the UK or to Germany to treat a uh, toothache or to treat a headache Dr. or Bart to treat a malaria Dr. or to Bart do a Bart common blood test. Dr. You know, these are some of the issues. What I have to say about that is that this is the same President Buhari who went away for 10 days and wrote to the Senate president at the time, Bukola Saraki, this was 20, was it 2017, I believe. He wrote to him, officially handing over to the vice president, properly, formally. What has happened between then and now, mm. goodness knows. Mm. Maybe the health challenge was serious then. Very important. But this it's, is it's, just it's, a routine it's neither here nor there. He was going then for 10 days. Now it's two weeks. So it's yeah. even more important now to hand over formally. Mundo, don't you I think, think we should odd. address this issue with constitutional amendment, this issue of vice so chairman? Many, so many. We yes. need to bend the 1999 Constitution, Constitution and start again. Perhaps we should address it with... We have uh, to. With... Um, with uh, some amendments to bring more clarity yes. okay. uh, to the issue the, of the, the, the role of the vice president of the The 1999 the constitution, the provisions leave a lot to be desired. The drafting, the language in some areas, the ambiguities, all leave a lot to be desired. I think we should bend the whole thing and start again. I wanted to talk about what happened in Ebony State, but we don't have time, unfortunately. Uh, we need to go now. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Fenny.